Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to be building Skeppy. Now this will be a tutorial in this video and it will be very similar to the last video I did on Dream. Now not many of you who watch my videos are subscribed, so if you are I'd mean a lot if you could hit the sub button, it's free and you can always change your mind. I'm first going to show you around the build and then we'll go straight on how to build it. The blocks you'll need for this is black concrete, red concrete, warped stripped hypha, diamond and a block of quartz. So I have a length of four stripped warped hypha, but I have these ones facing up because we're going to end up coming up with these. So I have two in the centre, so it's a length of four. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So that is a length of eight. And then do exactly the same on this side with the four and then the two facing up and then should be again one, two, three, four, five, six. Then come up by 11 blocks so it leaves it a height of 12. So you can see we're coming up 11. We're gonna have these blocks on the outside bits and the left, the right side, the back and the back left and the back right. But we're also gonna do two in the center. So one here and then one on the other side. So make sure to bring it all the way up. As you can see, we're gonna go up 11 and then we're gonna connect them once we reach the top. Then all you have to do is connect the sides and you can repeat the exact same bit I done in the first place. So just do that on this side. So you can see the two in the middle, bring those up and connect them together and then bring the other one here, connect that to the other side and then we can bring that all the way up and then connect that. So that's the sort of shape you should get once you are done and it should be a height of 12, length of eight in the front and a length of four on the sides. Then we're going to be placing L shaped blocks in here. So do two on the left side and one on the right with the white and then just fill that in with diamonds afterwards so come all the way up and then from there we do one in the corner and then two on the left hand corner and then we're going to fill that in with diamonds so it should be a normal L at the bottom and then a flipped over upside down one at the top do exactly the same on the other side but just switch it round fill it up with diamonds again and you can see we're going to place the white block here and then bring one down from there and then just fill the rest of it in with diamonds and then we're going to do the exact same on the other side but we're also going to add in some things on the side as well so this time we're going to have a reverse down as you can see i'm just switching its sides so two white on the right one on the left fill that all the way up with diamonds and then at the top you're just going to have a layer of one then two don't bring it down by anymore just keep it at one so with the back you're going to keep the bottom bit exactly the same as the front However, on the top, the two blocks that were on the outside, you're going to switch that to the inside and then the one small block will be on the opposite side to that. So you can see exactly what I'll do here. So switch that so that is opposite to what I've done before on the bottom. However, on the top, it's in reverse. Now, this part is nice and easy. All you have to do is copy the exact same as the other side. So create that L shape like you can see there. Bring it all the way up to the diamonds and then you're going to have that flat area of white quartz. Just so you know, you're always free to pause the video or go back to check if you've done something wrong. And you can always look at what I'm doing in the background because I'm doing the exact same as you guys building along with it. At this point, raise it up by 12. We're going to join it at the bottom and at the top afterwards, but just make sure to raise it up by 12 first. Once you've done either side, make sure to join them up together and then go down to the bottom and join that up as well. Then once you've done that, repeat it on the sides and on the top. Now you can change this or you don't have to. I did make one mistake where I didn't fill in the bottom line. You can see that bit is lower at the back than it is at the front. So just raise it up by one and you'll be fine. From there, make the L shapes again. You can see this one is facing the back, tipped over. Join up the diamonds. You could do the one at the bottom there. It's connecting to the side, tipped over. So that's making a reverse L. And the other one's making an upside down one. 
So you can see, just make them in the edges and fill it up with the diamonds and you'll be fine. Now remember before you do what I say, just raise this up by another of the hypha and then it'll be in match with the others. Now when we go to the back end, we're just going to do them on totally different sides. You see the white actually goes on this side instead of the other one. You can see we go up here, so it's just on the opposite sides. It's exactly in the same style. The two blocks are on the back wall and then the two are on the top as well. So you can see we're just going to follow that along with the rest of the diamonds and fill it in. Here is where you're going to be coming out and making the hands and the arms. So you can see, come out by four, so you do two, then two, another one, another one, and then do one more after that, and that's four coming out on the other side, then join it up with a two. So it should be four here, four at the side, and then four at the back. Then raise the two corners on the right hand side, and then we're just going to connect them like we did at the bottom. So you can see I'm joining them here, and then we're going to raise the bottom right one, but first I'm just going to come out. So you can see, come along here, then I'm going to go back down to the bottom, raise it up and connect it. So you can see, it's all similar to the bottom and then connect that there. And then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. But you can see here is where I make a mistake because I haven't raised it up by one, the other one is raised up. So when you actually do it, add one more strip of hypha and then do it one more up. And then you can see exactly in the top, you just connect it. So make sure to correct that mistake. If not, don't worry. But you can see just on the left hand side it is a little bit lower than the right hand side. So you can easily fix that by just breaking the blocks at the bottom and raise it up by one. Then what we're going to do is create the L shape again at the bottom and then raise it up with diamonds and then we're going to fill some at the top as well. Then raise all the insides up by hypha. You can do that on the back and the front and left and right so you can see that's what I'm doing here. Then in the top left of this one, we're going to do the L in the right this time and it's going to be upside down so you can see we flipped it here. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side but it's just going to be in reverse and then we're going to do it on the top here as well and this time it's on the inside. So if you have a look compared to the other side, if we bring it out, it's going to be a little bit different to the other side by us just reversing it. From there you can just fill it up with the diamonds. Then go on to right hand side or the left hand side from the front view. You can see that we're going to add another L shape. We're going to do one there, one there and make an opposite L. Bring that all the way up with the diamonds and then we're going to come across and make an opposite L again. But this time it's going to be upside down. And then bring that all the way up again with the diamonds and then we're going to repeat that on the back. With this one you can see this is going to be the same, exactly the same as we did on the other side. Then break that and then you can see exactly the same, no different to what we did in the front. Then that's going to be the same for this side, we're going to repeat that again so you can see how that goes. Then we're going to bring it down with the diamonds all the way down and then we're going to repeat the exact same with the white blocks. Then from there we're going to go to the side and we're going to repeat exactly what you can see at the furthest back here. So you can see we're going to make the L shape. We're going to build all the way up with diamonds and we're going to make another L shape. Then we're going to start doing the face. You can see the bottom bit, we're going to bring it out from this part here. We're going to bring it out by two on either side and we're going to join that up all the way around. So you can see from here, once you put it out by two, bring it along seven and that's going to be a length of eight. Then bring it all the way back, bring it out by two again, so you can see there. Then bring it by seven, that makes another length of eight and then just join it up and we've got the bottom layer of the face. Then raise it up by seven on each corner and then join it up once you've brought them up to the top. And that just leaves you with a cube shape to fill out the rest of the face inside. To make Skeppy's face, we're gonna be doing an L shape upside down in the left hand corner we're going to do then three layers of diamond, one, two, then three. Then we're going to replace the hypha below it on the right hand side here, replace it with black, then do it on the left, replace it with black, and that's going to be the eyes. We do 
another layer of diamonds and then below that we're going to do one diamond on the left and then one on the right and then we're going to start doing the mouth so bring it all the way along with black and then leave one space black on the left and then place it on the second one in so leave the one on the left there and do it on the second one in as you can see then we're going to add the rest in with red and then we're going to add in diamonds just to fill in the rest of the face and you can see that is the front of Skeppy's face Then from the front view, we're going to go to the left side and we're going to do an L shape in the top left and that's going to be upside down and then an L shape in the right, which is just a reverse L and that's going to be with the white blocks again. And then we're going to be filling that in with diamonds and then from there we'll go on to the back and the other side. For this part, we're going to have the same. The L shape is going to be in the right hand corner at the bottom, so it's going to be an opposite shaped L. And then we're going to have one in the top left again, and then we're going to fill that in with diamonds as well. Then this time, do an L shape on the left corner, so it's just a normal L this time with the white blocks. Fill it in with diamonds, and then top right, it's going to be an upside down L. So you can see when we get to that, that's what I'll be doing. So we do one more layer of diamonds, and we go up, and then on the right side here, we're going to be doing an L shape with the white block again. Then we're going to go do the shoulders. You can see if we go in here, we're going to do white block in the right. Then we're going to have diamond on the bottom, white, and then diamond on the left. And then we're going to fill that in with high for again. And then you see we go on to the other side. We're going to have a white block in the top left this time. And then we're going to have a diamond on the right. Diamond underneath the white one and then a white block here and then high first so the white block should always be in the corner and then the diamond block should always be on the inside. Then do the exact same underneath the hands but invert it so where the diamond block should be that's where you're going to put the white blocks and then do the same with the diamond. So just switch it around and then fill that in with a high for you can see but remember that this one is lower on the left so just fix that when you actually build it yourself. To wrap it all off, fill in the underneath of the chin bit here with diamonds, you can see at the back and the front. Then at the top, we're gonna to do an L shape in the left, and then we're gonna do an L shape upside down in the right. Then we're gonna fill the rest in with diamonds, and that's it, done. You've got Skeppy completed. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to leave a comment if you want to see any more YouTubers being built or anything else being built in Minecraft I'm happy to make a video on it. Thank you for watching, Blaze Runner out.